So recently, Capcom decided to put out a little survey regarding about the old franchises and how the company has been doing recently. And at first, I just turned a blind eye to it, but then I've been noticing some people were sharing this survey around and I had a little look at it and already, I already hate how this looks. It looks like this old cartoon cartoon um, mini game that my family used to play on the computer back when computers used to look like just a big ass white box. Yeah, those dinosaurs. So, at first I just turned a blind eye to it. I think this time I cannot let this shit slide. So, I'm already not a fan when um, game companies release surveys. You have Sega to thank for that because one, they kept fucking up on multiple fronts, not just Sonic, but for everything else. As they didn't even work on their old fran fr uh, franchises, whether it be Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi, Knights, Vectorman, um, what else? Uh, Golden Axe. Or, you know, just any other franchise that existed either on the Dreamcast or the Saturn, you know, whichever you prefer. So already I'm already just not a fan of these surveys because you're basically acknowledging the fact that you have other franchises you could be working on. And you're reaching out to the fans via a survey when you could just work on them. Like, name a franchise that has so much dust on it that hasn't been touched in years and honestly when I think of Nintendo I think of like F-Zero not counting F-Zero 99 and um, you know Kid Icarus which honestly has been more than 10 years or 11 years since the last game Uprising and Star Fox which hasn't seen a new entry since Star Fox Zero and honestly I, I can see why that is because Star Fox Zero didn't do so well then we have Sega, who acknowledge the fact that they have other franchises to work on, would be Jet Set Radio or Golden Axe. Uh, no Sign of Knights, so... Yeah, just No Sign of Knights. Yet. And uh, Konami actually got off their lazy ass and started going back to the other franchise, where it would be Metal Gear. This time, not as a fucking pachinko machine. And um, Silent Hill. Also, this time, not a fucking pachinko machine. So... At least, I know that there are some companies out there that are trying to put up the slack and getting their ass to work. Capcom, however, has been pretty much public enemy number one over the course of late 2023 in the beginning of this year. And I'm actually going to show you some screenshots of what this survey looks like because the website that they have decided to, to use, which I'm also going to show off here, just looks like some dumbass kid park map that you see when you walk into an amusement park and then you have to do like this dumb ticket thing to take this survey or win prizes like i don't fucking care about any of that i'm here to take some dumbass survey and see what it looks like and seeing that i can't fucking do that because reasons uh, i took it upon myself to take some screenshots here so uh, for one, you see um, all these other options here, and some of these can vary from, you know, how the company is doing, and, you know, all this other crap. And I like some of these um, questions here, because it feels like that they're actually acknowledging that maybe something is going right, maybe there's something going wrong, maybe there's something that they can approve on, and honestly, at least someone out there is acknowledging that fact and as I'm looking at this you know I, I can't help but notice that they decided to go with the wording do you have a complaint and honestly I have multiple but let me just read through some of these real quick as I'm now booting this up because I go through the fucking folder so one of them is too slow to release number of titles honestly as long as they work to the best of their ability, I have no complaint. As long as it meets standards that people can accept. And I'm starting to notice that with these Resident Evil remakes, how they praise Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, not a lot of people are praising Resident Evil 3 remake according to what I've been you know, looking into. And that's also probably because Resident Evil 3 Remake, from what I heard, was made by a different studio 
which is you know another problem that Capcom has. I'll get into that later. Uh, lame designs. I really can't say all that much about it, but there are times where Capcom has released some stuff that are just completely hit or miss. Whether it be I don't know the Devil May Cry mobile game, which I thought it was like some weird remake, but apparently not. And um, maybe there's some other games out there that I don't know about that they made. It's, again, I, I'm not a Monster Hunter person. I'm not a Dragon's Dogma person. I don't know if anyone plays Monster Hunter the same way they still do today. But, you know, when I think of lame designs, I think of X6. I think of X7. I think of Devil May Cry 2. I think of some other IP that I can't really name on top of my head. But... Yeah, you know, lame designs, as long as the games are fun to go through and they they don't feel experimental. Like, it actually feels like a solid, finalized idea that's fully realized. I'm all for it. Then we have too money oriented, which I agree. Because that's the reason why they keep remaking all these fucking Resident Evil re uh, games. And they ask the community, which one do you want to see next? And a lot of people say Resident Evil 5. I get it. You know, as long as it makes the big bucks, you can keep making them. But at some fucking point, you just gotta learn when to stop and move on to something else. Put it on the side for now and work on something else. In fact, that's something that I really don't like about these companies to begin with. Is to the point where you get so fucking money hungry and you just keep doing the same shit over and over and over again. And people like me easily get fucking tired of it. So too money oriented, yeah, I would say that that's an issue that Capcom has double because of the Resident Evil remakes. Needs to communicate with the fans better. Now, I know that a vast majority of people are going to uh, select this option, and rightfully so, especially when you we talk about canceled games, we talk about IPs that were mishandled, we talk about IPs that should be here right now and they're not, and yeah, you know, you get that a lot. And honestly, yes, uh, rightfully so. They need to communicate with the fans better. However, and this is a big however, because I'm starting to recall what happened with Mega Man Legends 3. If they're going to listen to the fans, I hope that the fans aren't going to go too fucking crazy about every little detail that they're going to be spouting out at Capcom because I can only think of what happens when the fans are spouting out all sorts of fucking nonsense on the internet, rather be Reddit, rather be Twitter, rather be Facebook. So it's okay to communicate with the fans, but on the fan size, they need to fucking chill, be calm, be collective, and be reasonable. Because at the end of the day, we're talking about a corporation here that has all these beloved IPs that should be ongoing right now instead of just taking the biggest backseat known to man and collecting a shit ton of dust because of it. So, then there's uh, release more original titles, not sequels, and I feel like they kind of been doing that. Um, I don't know, I, I can't really say because, you know, I'm not a Monster Hunter person, I'm not an Ace, Ace Attorney person. Um, Devil May Cry, I feel like it's been on safe hands up until this mobile game that I don't know about. And um, I really haven't really been seeing much of the sequel side of things from much other IPs. Like the big ones without question that I've been seeing so far are Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and uh, Ace Attorney. And you know, Devil May Cry 5 which just felt like ages ago, but it's like back in 2019. So, you know, one of many games that made January 2019 a month to remember for me, honestly. So I would say, yeah, release original titles. If it has to be a sequel, the sequel needs to be well deserved because chances are that a sequel happens and it may or may not line up with whatever game came out beforehand so i would say if a sequel is to happen then i would say that it would need to be uh again well deserved reboot all ips already and honestly yes i i completely agree especially when we talk about ips from capcom that again has so much dust on it or they still hold on to but the original creator isn't there anymore or it desperately needs to come back and i'm looking at other capcom properties say like power stone if that's capcom 
and Beautiful Joe and Okami and all these other franchises that deserve so much that, that really just needs that dust off so much again you know Sega's doing just that with just Jet Radio and other franchises so I'm thinking God they're doing that and other people can breathe easy once Jet Set Radio gets here you know depends on how Sega does it hopefully in a good way and um, you know just give it the dust off that it needs make it look like the current PlayStation 5 games that I'm looking at right now rather be something like Stella Blade or Rise of the Ronin or the Sonic Hill 2 remake or you know Death Stranding 2 it doesn't have to look like a fucking blockbuster film you know that people would just spend billions and billions of dollars making that you see in the fucking movie theater or ha whatever have at you but just make it on par with the games that I'm seeing right now you know the good triple A shit not the bad triple A shit because I have grinds with triple A shit and that's why I directed my attention to indie games like way forward galaxy journal integrate stuff like that uh, not enough merchandise in stock so too quickly I'm just gonna assume that this is all their other merchandise um, stuff that I really don't spend too much time on I honestly haven't been really been taking notice that I don't know like what plushies or keychains or posters I can't really say too much on this front but if this is an issue then I would say just make it as plentiful as possible so that collectors out there can get their hands on it because I know that people will go out there and try their damnness to go out and start collecting shit to deck out their space whether it be you know maybe their office maybe their own house something I can't really say too much on it but for all you hardcore collectors out there I know I I can't say much again but I know it must be rough trying to trying to snag what you can so all I have to say is hopefully it's plentiful so that way it's not too much of a hassle for you resting on his laurels too much lately so not that I think Capcom is one of those um, companies that feels like that they get easily satisfied over something they do but this can be chopped up as I guess they're satisfied in one thing that they continue to do it again Resident Evil remakes I get that they're successful but at the at the end you just gotta learn when to put it to the side and get back to the franchises that needs it most and when it comes to making money again it's understandable it's a business it needs to operate but the one thing to a successful business is to have a variety of successful products and Resident Evil falls under that category as does Monster Hunter as does Ace Attorney there are other franchises that were successful that can be that people would like to see come back to and if Capcom relies heavily on Resident Evil like I've been seeing this whole time especially with Resident Evil 4 then yeah I would say that they have been resting on their laurels because when I think about this I immediately jump to Resident Evil they already asked the fans what do you want to see next and honestly it 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 gives me the biggest headache imaginable so I would say if they are resting on their laurels um, you might want to lay off on that and actually try other franchises that can make you successful and that can make fans you know fulfilled uh, I've got lots of reasons not listed above as do I and then we have no complaints here keep up the good work and honestly yeah Capcom honestly has been doing a good job because Resident Evil remakes have been looking pretty damn good I've seen um, some videos about it uh, specifically uh, Pat Stirzat he's been streaming Resident Evil 4 and honestly he's the only source of Resident Evil that I need a lot of people have been streaming the game and honestly I can rely on Pat so easily because he has such a deep history of Resident Evil that I can take him up on his word about almost anything about the series don't believe me look up any of his streams or just look up Super Best Friends uh, playing Resident Evil games. The one I recommend is Resident Evil 4. It is hilarious as it is informative. It's about to be 10 years since that playthrough, man. Fuck. Man, time flies, don't it? But outside of that, um, there is also a little something else here. And the other thing 
is uh is there a game that you would like to see completely remade with the latest technology including character design and story direction and among this list we have animusia that was pronounced animusia uh ace attorney commando rival schools um nichi rocha no kisaki never heard of that one final fight that's a big one breath of fire one two and three which i yeah i think i heard like a uh, I think I heard that by name. Never seen that action, no. Uh, Gargoyles Quest. And then the big boy in this list, Mega Man. Now, personally, I would have just said, not in here. And I'm going to get into that why. But then we move on to the main attraction of this discussion here. Now, I already said that I'm fucking tired of Resident Evil. And honestly, I am. I, I'm pretty much treating Resident Evil the same way that I'm treating The Last of Us from Naughty Dog. Okay, there's too much focus on these two franchises, and these two companies don't really spend enough time on anything else. Okay, for Naughty Dog, it's Jack and Daxter. Straight up. For Capcom, it's Mega Man. But I'm not going to direct my attention to Classic. Now, before I shift from Classic... I need to say something very, very important here because I'm going to bring Keiji Nafune into the fray here. Now, I am not a fan of the classics. I'm, I'm just not. You know, I tried playing the classics back then and I just couldn't really get into it. The reason why I'm just going to skim through the classic real quick is because if there's anything that Capcom needs to do with 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, and 8, and possibly base, is for one reason and one reason only and that reason is powered up for those who don't know Mega Man received a remake on the PlayStation Portable titled Mega Man Powered Up where uh, the art style for that game was achieved that's why it looks all chibi like and there is a whole ton of other modes that you can do here if Mega Man decides to gun down the Robot Masters with just the Buster you can play as those Robot Masters you can even make your own levels you can also play as Proto Man and Roll. Now, I wish that Proto Man and Roll were unlockables, but sadly that is not the case because you have to feel some sort of bullshit um, condition to unlock the two. For Roll, it is fucked up. You have to get some download code from the website, or I, I don't know, at the time, you have to get some download code. I'm not sure how this is supposed to go down, but it's, it's just stupid how they treated Roll in this game. But honestly, like the direction for this was just Mega Man Classic at its best, even though he had to choose between the charge shot or the slide, person would just go with both. But it would have been so nice to continue the Powered Up series, and that's something that Keiji Fune wanted to do. And this was not a commercial success. So honestly, I wish Powered Up did continue according to Keiji Fune's uh, vision. And sadly, that did not come to pass. So, yeah, it's a shame. But, you know, when you get that slap on the face, you just got to wonder what could have been instead of what happened. Now, the big star here, okay, we had Classic Mega Man, the start of everything. Okay, you can't have, you can't have this if not the other. So, with Classic Mega Man, that was the star of the show. The big star of the show here is Mega Man X. And... There's a, there's a reason why I'm bringing X here, big huge reasons, and the main reason why I would click on the not in here tab, and that is for a whole bunch of reasons. So, for those who don't know, Mega Man X turned 30 on December 17, 1990, uh, 1990, uh, 2023, December 17, 1993 is when the first X game came out, and Capcom has not done a goddamn thing to acknowledge that. Now, notice that I'm saying that they didn't do anything to celebrate it. They could have released anything, like a piece of artwork, or they could have released, I don't know, like a merchandise line to celebrate the series, or maybe they could have just released the Legacy Collection half price. I don't know, but I was looking around, and nothing. It's like on, on par with Star Fox when it turned 30 in February of last year. You know, Nintendo didn't do shit, but the creator, you know, made a birthday cake about it. 
And, you know, it really sucks that franchises like Star Fox and Mega Man X don't really get the recognition that they deserve. You know, it blows. So, I'm bringing Mega Man X in here because, not only because it turned 30, but because, for me, I have such a strong attachment with the series that it is heartbreaking seeing what Capcom has done with the series, which is to say not much. Now, I already said that Mega Man already had a planned line of remakes with the Powered Up series going up to 8. For the Mega Man X series, there was a planned set of remakes that would have gone up to X6. So, back when the Mega Man X collection for the GameCube and PlayStation 2 was coming out, they had all these planned uh, bonuses for the collection, remix music, or a, a redub of X4, rescript for X6, none of that came to be. And KG Nifune said that instead of all those extra stuff for the collection, let's just move it from Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, which is the X remake. So, um, X2 was already in the books. There's already a redub for X4 by Lucas Gilbertson. The rescript for X6 was not used, and I'm pretty sure X5 would have just reverted back to their uh, usual names in terms of the Mavericks. So instead of the Guns N' Roses Easter egg names, you would instead go back to the default Maverick names. So instead of Grizzly Slash, you would get Chris and Grizzly. And instead of Duff McWhelan, you would get Title Well, and the list just keeps going. So it would have gone up to X6 and it too was a commercial failure and it didn't really do it much at all only Mega Man Maverick Hunter Rex got a second light on the PlayStation Vita Mega Man Powered Up did not and you would think that if the Data Sigma can find its way out then Capcom will find some sort of workaround for these two games Powered Up and Maverick Hunter Rex and honestly it hasn't happened yet or it just hasn't happened at all the only piece of content from those PSP games that made it out was the Day of Sigma. That was it. So, I'm bringing X into the picture because I strongly believe out of all the Mega Man franchises out there, Classic, Zero, ZX, Star Force, Battle Network, and yes, even Legends, and I'll get there, I believe that it was X that was handled so so badly because when you think about how the franchise should have ended with x5 and they said no let's just make another game and then they completely fucked that up with atrocious level design a god-awful mechanic which completely ruins the game which makes me think that they were trying to go back to say like x1 where the stages would change depending on which map was defeated Okay, and then you have Keiji Nifune saying, Oh, Zero came back to life a second time. Now the story doesn't make any sense because at the time he was working on the Zero series with Inti Creates. Then we get to X7 and they hand off hand it off to a studio that doesn't really specialize in Mega Man games, uh, Capcom Studio 3, and they completely fuck it up by having the worst implementation of 3D known to man. Now, I don't have a problem with Mega Man X in the third dimension. In fact, I honestly still think it can work because when I think of what X7 can be right now, I can up and wonder, but think of games like, say, Super Mario 3D World or Ratchet and Clank All for One, you know, and if you want to go play like a 3D Mega Man X game, just look up Mega Man X Training Mission or try out, you know, Proto Droid, uh, Proto Droid Delta, which honestly, Proto Droid Delta I did try out and it is, you know, a good game on its own front, but not really one I would say would embody X at its fullest. Honestly, if I could think of what X7 can be in a modern era, I would say, okay, maybe you look at um, Super Mario 3D World and Ratchet and Clank all for one, especially Ratchet and Clank all for one, and see how an X7 in a modern era could play like. Because the game was wasn't multiplayer anyways, and then they said we're focusing on getting 3D right. They introduced Axel, who is like a young, fresh, new character, and I don't have a problem with that. 
especially when his motive was to become a maverick hunter um, after the group he left were being scumbags and he wanted to do something about that so honestly it is understandable why people hate Axel with a burning passion but I'm gonna say this right now he is not a bad character by any means his debut wasn't great in fact it was just just bad like the English voice for him wasn't that great either the way he plays wasn't that great like Axel just felt like a neutered version of X and X was also bastardized in this game too you know given that you know he whines like a bitch he takes the backseat when he shouldn't especially when his fucking name is on the title and when you do play as X and by that I mean you rescue a total of what 64 rescue reploids he's not at his best and you have to go hunt down the capsules while playing as him it's not like in the other games where you can play as any other character and then just go into a capsule for X so that's not how that works so honestly out of all the Mega Man franchises out there I believe it's X that is handled so poorly so you have that and then you know you would think that with these X Legacy collections that that would have brought back some of the scrapped features that would have happened in the X collection or Maverick Hunter X you know the uh, whatever is going to go down with Maverick Hunter X2 or the redub for X4 or the rescript in X6 hell you don't even get like the PS1 version of X3 in this collection so you just get the barest minimum in this collection I played and completed this collection on two different consoles and honestly I said you know what no I'm just going to resort to ROM hacks because I know that the people out there are trying and have accomplished changing the game for the better and for that I fucking applaud it. Okay, playing X1 without slowdown is a breeze. Playing X3 with zero with no limits, like just play a zero for the whole game. Honestly, that's how the game should have been. And playing X4 with the Japanese dub okay like it's 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 all good it's all good you know some of the ends editions are not that bad either but honestly I improve I, I like the improvements and the tweak hacks much better so the fans have done X justice than Capcom ever could and honestly that's my overall problem with Capcom so aside from the fact that they have devoted so much of their focus on Resident Evil thus far with you know some monster hunters or some ace attorneys you know uh, on the side it's just Resident Evil that I've been seeing the whole way through and I'm seeing this and I'm thinking to myself okay why not just go do this for other franchises like yeah Mega Man honestly is on the table center stage but then you have you know Final Fight you have Okami and then you have like Beautiful Joe, which Hideki Kamiwa did have uh, a story synopsis for like a Beautiful Joe 3. So I don't know if they want to try and partner up with him to get that off the ground. I just really doubt it, especially when he just, well, I wouldn't say he just left Platinum, but no, you know, he left Platinum and started his own thing. So I hope that he does well. I just need Capcom to go back to franchises that fucking matter for people and isn't just there just to continue like a string of remakes for a franchise that yeah I can see that it needs it but how far is it gonna go how far is Resident Evil gonna go because I can understand the PS1 games but Resident Evil 4 getting a remake like when I read that article I thought isn't Resident Evil 4 like the best Resident Evil game out there? How do you do better? And I've seen it from myself. You know, Ashley, honestly, she is pretty damn cute. I like remake Ashley in this, Ashley. I've heard some complaints about how Ada sounds in the remake. And yeah, you know, the game just overall just looks better than the original. So I was kind of convinced. But at the same time, I thought to myself, they devote all this attention to Resident Evil in terms of these remakes down the letter. Yet they can't do this for... And again, yeah, fuck it. They can't do this shit for the Mega Man series. Specifically X. Because, honestly, I mean, X turned 30 
I knew that Capcom was not going to do anything. Absolutely fucking nothing. Not even so much as a piece of artwork. Sly got something when it turned 20. So, you know, it got a, it got a poster. Okay, there's that. But X didn't get a goddamn thing. And I'm not even going to count any bullshit from X Dive. X Dive made me hate gotcha games even more. Okay, Bleach, Brave Souls was the first. X Dive was just more oil in the fucking fire. So, when I see Capcom releasing this article, I just have to say this, man. I would say go back to franchises that fucking mattered, that hasn't had a new entry in a very, very long time. Okay, I'm looking at Final Fight, I'm looking at Beautiful Joe, I'm looking at Okami, I'm looking at. I want to say Power Stone because I remember that so well. Played the demo so many times on the Dreamcast, and um, I'm th you know I'm also looking at other franchises that I never even heard of. Like uh, I don't know if Onimusha would be one. And honestly, the one that I think needs the most is the Mega Man series because the story hasn't ended yet. The ending of Eleven, I it was extremely disappointing for me, especially when the ending of Mega Man Unlimited actually tried to branch uh, to close the gap between the Classic and the X series. So in terms of Mega Man, the Classic series isn't finished, the X series isn't finished, and the ZX uh, series is left on a cliffhanger if you beat ZX Advent on hard mode. Zero is finished all the way through. Four entries is all that it needs. I honestly do not want a 05 because no, what would be the point? Okay, to me the Zero series has reached its conclusion and is better off. And I'm thanking God for that. That is better off. So yeah, honestly, I like what Capcom is doing here with this survey, sort of, because I don't like the website, I don't like the means to take this survey, I don't like how I need to use some sort of website thing to use this fucking survey no it should have been here's the survey here are some questions here's the feedback okay feedback received because that's what these people say all the time you know where's your feedback and they were listening i hope they fucking do though because people like me are fed up okay for me personally it's the x series because it turned 30 it has been done dirty with xs and x7 there have not been much re-releases in the series. I'm not counting the collections. In fact, the only games that hasn't that ever received um, a re-release are Mammoth Hunter X and Command Mission. Command Mission still doesn't get anything. And honestly, if they were going to do Command Mission again, I would just look at what worked and what didn't. And also, I would really double check the year that they threw in because at no point do I believe this fucking thing takes place in the year 22XX. You mean to fucking tell me this thing's based in the Zero series? Are you fucking kidding me? I call bullshit. So, no, honestly, for me personally, it, it's sad that I once again have to see that the corporation release a fucking survey just to get in touch with us when they should already know the problem. And honestly, this, this discourages me from... Um, looking at their future projects moving forward because again you know this is more than just Mega Man for me and at the core it is especially when you know I'm seeing you know what would you like to see remade with the latest technology and I'm seeing all these games and I'm taking it to an account what Sega's doing right now bringing back their own IPs Capcom should do the same Okay, Sega didn't release no fucking survey about bringing back their old shit. So, why this one? So, yeah, for me personally, I want to see the X... I know, I need to see the X series again. Okay, I'm not going to be a whiny bitch saying just do Mega Man X9. Honestly, I'd rather see Maverick Hunter X. I'd rather see what Keiji Nufune wanted to do with this series rather than what Capcom may or may not do to it. And... If I do see other Capcom properties, I hope some of them click with me. Like Okami, the concept of it clicked with me. And I did play Final Fight back in the day on Super Nintendo. So, 
you know, like to see how they're gonna bring that back. Hopefully not what they did with uh, Streetwise, because Streetwise, I've seen it, and honestly, it isn't that great either. So, you know, Ace Attorney, I, don't re I know of it, but I just haven't seen it in action, gameplay-wise. I do know of, I think there's an anime of it, so I might check that out. And, um, you know, Street Fighter was doing well, Resident Evil, without question, is doing well, but it needs a break. And honestly, that's my biggest problem. It, like, Resident Evil just needs a break. Just stop, stop, okay? I know you want to keep remaking them, but just put it on the fucking side for at least a year. Because I can't help but wonder if they're going to keep doing this and then people are just going to keep eating this shit up and then Capcom is just going to keep making more and more. Just remake Zero, remake Co Veronica, remake 5, remake 6, remake um, Resident Evil Outbreak is going to get remade and then, you know, maybe Operation Raccoon City or maybe you can turn one of those CG movies into a game like it's just going to keep going and it's just not going to fucking stop. Okay, and that's what I want Capcom to do with Resident Evil right now. Okay, you've done a good job thus far. Give it a break. Okay, you've done enough. You can come back to it, but for now, just put on the side, work on something else. And honestly, that's what they should be doing right now. Just give it a break. So, yeah, to wrap up here, I don't like the survey. They should definitely go back to the Mega Man and especially the X series and just do what Keiji Nifune had plans to do this whole time. Okay? Bring back Powered Up, bring back Marvel Hunter X, work your way up to X9 if they want to. If they want to remake, um, you know, past X6, they can. Hopefully they do because X7 is just the bottom of the fucking barrel for the X series and the X series deserves so much more. And if they ever want to continue ZX, which hopefully they will because I left them on a cliffhanger, I hope that comes to pass. And maybe the Zero series can get a remake too, who knows? I hope it does because, you know, the, the Zero ZX collection is fantastic. I know it can be better. And then um, other franchises want to bring back, that's fine too because they have so much dust anyways that they have no choice. So yeah you know it's important to bring back the old stuff because it's the old stuff that made us who we are and for people like me we have no regrets and also on the topic of uh games that didn't make it out or games that were just straight up canceled um yeah Mega Man legends honestly fits that bow so perfectly because when i think about a Mega Man franchise that is left hanging obviously i'm thinking about you know classic or x or zx and obviously legends 3 is also on the board because that game quite possibly the most anticipated Mega Man game to ever try to get uh released and honestly it didn't make it out and despite all the fan suggestion and the feedback and everything else, uh, Legends 3 was can, didn't happen. So among all the canceled Mega Man games out there with Maverick Hunter and Mega Man Universe, honestly, yeah, no, Legends 3 should have just came out the gate and should have just wrapped up the Legend series, if possible, with the third entry. So... You know, I know this was about mostly just Mega Man, and you know, that's just me. But there are other Capcom properties out there that also deserve to continue. Rather it be Power Stone, rather it be Beautiful Joe, rather it be Okami, rather it be um, Final Fight, or maybe some other Capcom property that didn't make it overseas. So, you know, I do like Capcom's uh, attempt to reach out to his fans and anybody else, but. Honestly, with a survey, no. I, I honestly wouldn't even try with the survey. I would have just addressed the fact that there are other franchises that need so much attention. And honestly, you know, Mega Man is one of them. Because, again, the story's not finished. And there are other Capcom properties that need so much attention right now that it's not even a joke. So, yeah. A plus for effort, I guess, Capcom. <laughs> 